In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's sing verse 2 of Go to Dark Gethsemane. Follow to the judgment hall, view the Lord of life arraigned. Oh, the wormwood and the gall, oh, the pains his soul sustained. Shun not suffering shame, or loss, learn from him to bear the cross. And I'll read to you from Matthew chapter 27. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You have said so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he gave no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning. He took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he rel released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's review our Bible verse, Hebrews chapter 12. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Today's journey with Jesus is a hard one for all of us. It's not fair. I've said that many, many times, and I've heard that many, many times. It's not fair. Do you like getting in trouble? How about getting in trouble for doing absolutely nothing wrong? Or how about getting in trouble for doing what's right? That's the joy of Jesus. Jesus did absolutely nothing wrong. He didn't sin against God. He didn't sin against Pontius Pilate. Even Pilate said that Jesus was innocent. Jesus did nothing wrong. But because Jesus had so many enemies, Pilate allowed Jesus to get into trouble. Pilate even washed his hands right in front of the crowd. Pilate said, I am innocent of this man's blood. You know, I wonder, did Pilate rub his hands with soap for 20 full seconds? Make sure you work on that, kids. We have the joy of Jesus, too. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter, rejoice as you share Christ's sufferings. If you do good and suffer for it, and you endure, this is a gracious thing in the sight of God. 
Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. So yes, it's okay to get in trouble for doing good, for doing what's right. Because when that happens, we're really following Jesus. And we can trust that God will take care of us during those no fun times. For God loves us, and he gave his son to heal our souls and to forgive us. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your journey to the cross for us. Thank you for sharing your journey through your word. Thank you for going to the judgment hall of Pontius Pilate and sharing your joy of innocent suffering. Bless us as we journey with you, Jesus, in worship this week. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.